Hello everyone, welcome to Computer Science. Our subject is Computer Fundamentals and today we are going to discuss about number conversion. This is the second video of number conversion. In the previous video we have discussed the category 1 that is uh, to convert a decimal number to other number systems. Uh, in that uh, we used a method of repeated division to convert a decimal number into other number we have to divide the number with the destination number systems base continuously repeatedly and uh, collect the reminders uh, for normal numbers integer numbers for fractional numbers we have to perform repeated multiplication and arrange the integer part of the result of multiplication so that was discussed in the previous video and this is the part 2 so here we are going to convert a number system into decimal number system so we can convert any number systems into decimal the method used is almost similar for any number systems so in this video we will be uh, discussing about how to convert a binary to decimal an octal to decimal a hexadecimal to num decimal and these method can be applied to any other base number system like base 4 system, base 7 system, any other number systems can use this method to convert that into decimal. Uh, so, let's start with a binary to decimal conversion. How to convert a binary number to decimal number? A binary number can be converted into its decimal equivalent by summing up the product of each bit and its weight. So, here comes the method. The method is to sum up the product of each bit and weight. We are going to highlight this line. Uh, so, this is the exact method we are using with all number systems to convert that into decimal. So, we have to find the product of each binary digit or binary bit and its weight. So, what is the weight? Uh, we have discussed in uh, what is the positional number system. Uh, positional number system means here each bit will be having a weight. So, the value of a bit depends upon the relative position of that bit. Uh, we have discussed all that in our previous videos. So, here every number uh, binary, decimal, octal, hexadecimal all are positional number system. So, in all that number system each digit will be having a weight. So, what is different from all other system is this weight. In a binary number system, this weight is powers of 2. Because, because what? Because the base of this binary system is 2. That's why the weight of all the digits, all the bits of a binary number system are some powers of 2. Like 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, etc. What we have to do is... To multiply this weight with the corresponding bit and summing up all these weight and uh, these products, all these products. Uh, let's look into some examples. So consider the first one: one one zero one 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 zero one one. This is our binary number. We have to convert this into decimal. So first, we have to prepare a table like this. Here we have written the bit values 11011 and corresponding to each value we have written the weight for each bit. So for 1 uh, starting with the LSP least significant digit we can write the weight. All the weights are some powers of 2 that we already know. So start from here for 1 we have to write the weight as 2 raised to 0. This is the least significant bit. So, this is a unit's position, right? This is a 10 position, this is a 100 position, so on. So, in the unit position, uh, the weight is 2 raised to 0. Then for second digit, our weight will be 2 raised to 1. In uh, third digit, for third digit, our weight will be 2 raised to 2. 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4. Okay, up to the last number, up to MSB. So, here the MSB is at this position. So, our uh, weight is 2 raised to 4. Once the table is formulated, then the method is very easy. Uh, we have to multiply each column and add these uh, results. So, here uh, starting from the first column, 1 into 2 raised to 4. That is, each bit is multiplied by its own weight. So, first bit is 1. 1 is multiplied by 2 raised to 4. 1 into 2 raised to 4 plus added to other columns. 1 into 2 raised to 3 plus 0 into 2 raised to 2 
plus 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to 0. Here we know that 2 raised to 0 is equal to 1, right? Any number raised to the power 0 equals 1. So 1 into 2 raised to 0 is a 1. Then 1 into 2 raised to 2, uh, 2 raised to 1 means it's a 2. Then the term multiplied by 0 will be 0. So we are not going to consider this uh, term. And next 1 into 2 raised to 3 means 8. 1 into 2 raised to 4 means 16. So adding this we will get the number 27. Which means 11011 to the base 2 is equal to the decimal number 27. Uh, let's consider the next example. This is same, similar as the first one. 110010. So we are first we are going to formulate this table. Uh, we have written 110010 in each cell. And uh, corresponding to each uh, digit we can write the weights. Like starting from the LSP 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2 up to MSP. We will get 2 raised to 6 as the weight. Then the procedure is multiply each column and add those columns. Uh, so 1 into 2 raised to 6 plus 1 into 2 raised to 5 plus 0 into 2 raised to 4 plus up to this 0 into 2 raised to 0. Here one thing we can do is that we know any number multiplied by 0 will be a 0. So we are not going to consider these columns, all these columns uh, which is having 0 as the bit. Uh, what we do is just find the columns having 1 as the bit and multiply this uh, bit with its weight and add those results. So 1 into 2 raised to 6 plus 1 into 2 raised to 5 plus 1 into 2 raised to 1. Only 3 terms that we can add. 64 plus 32 plus 2 equal to 98 is the answer. So next, converting a binary fraction to decimal. So we have discussed about integer number. Then uh, uh, to convert a fractional binary number to decimal. The method used is very simple. Only difference is with the weight of this binary fraction. Uh, so, in the previous example, we have considered the weights uh, from 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2. That is to the left of the decimal point. Then, to the right of the decimal point, that is for fractional numbers, we will be using weights as 2 raised to minus 1, 2 raised to minus 2, etc. Okay, after the binary point. Let's look at example 0 0.101 to the base 2 uh, to decimal convert. So, this is our example 0 0.101. So, 101 is our digits and corresponding weights are 2 raised to minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So, uh, write this uh, bit 101 and starting from here, starting from the first bit we are writing. Uh, for uh, normal numbers, integer numbers, we will be starting from the last bit. Uh, so, for a um, binary fractional number, we will be starting with the first bit. Here we can, uh, we have to write 2 raised to minus 1. For next bit, 2 raised to minus 2. So, next bit, 2 raised to minus 3 and so on. After the same process, uh, multiplying and uh, summing up the products. 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to minus 2 plus 1 into 2 raised to minus 3. So, adding this uh, one term, 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 plus uh, 1 into 2 raised to minus 3, result will be 0.625. Consider another example 1010.11 to decimal. So, here two parts are there, right? Uh, left to the decimal point and to the right of the decimal point. Let's consider the first part uh, that means a whole number, integer number 1010 uh, binary number. So, bits are 1010 and the starting from the last bit, we can write 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3. And multiplying and adding, uh, we will get uh, the answer as 10. So, 1010 equal to 10. Then consider the next part, that is 0 0.11, right? 0 0.11, uh, write the number and write the weight uh, from the first bit, 2 raised to minus 1, 2 raised to minus 2. Then multiplying this, 1 into 2 raised to minus 1 plus 1 into 2 raised to minus 2. Uh, adding we will get answer as 0 0.75. So combining the results 1010.11 to the base 2 equal to first part we get uh, 10. So 10.75. This is the answer to convert a binary fraction to decimal number. Next uh, method uh, to convert an octal number to decimal. And this method is uh, almost Similar to the previous method, the only difference is with the weight. Uh, for an octal number, the weight of each digit will be some powers of 8. 
Octal number can be converted to decimal equivalent by summing up the products of each octal digit and its weight. Here the weights are some powers of 8. So underline this point. I am going to highlight this. What we have to keep in mind is that weights of octal number system are some powers of 8. 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2 etc. Let's consider an example. So here 157 to the base 8 is our question. 157 this is our octal number. This octal number have to be converted to a decimal number. So first write the octal digit 157. Next we have to write the corresponding weights starting from the last bit. That will be 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1 and 8 raised to 2. Then multiplying and adding 8 raised to 2 into 1 plus 8 raised to 1 into 5 plus 8 raised to 0 into 7. Uh, we will get 111 as the answer. So 157 to the base octal is equal to a decimal number 111. Next another number 1005. Uh, write the 1005 over here and the weights are arranged like this 8 raised to 0, 8 raised to 1, 8 raised to 2, 8 raised to 3. And by multiplying and adding, we will get y five one seven. So here thousand five one zero zero five equal to five one seven to the base ten. So five one seven is our decimal number. Next, uh, in case of uh, fractional conversion, is also same. So here, uh, I will explain with an example. Uh, suppose. Uh, we have a number like this 153.26 uh, this is our octal number we have to convert this number to a decimal so uh, first method is to arrange these numbers and write the weights corresponding to each digit i am going to write from here to the left of the decimal point and from the right of the decimal point uh, to the left of the decimal point the weights will be 16 raised to 0 16 raised to 1 and 16 raised to 2. To the left of the decimal point, the weights will be 16 raised to minus 1. 16 raised to minus 1 and the 16 raised to minus 2. So, this is the biggest step. Once we have formulated this, then the method is very easy. Multiply each uh, digit with its corresponding uh, Wait, 1 into 16 raised to 2 plus 5 into 16 raised to 1 plus 3 into 16 raised to 0 point 2 into 16 raised to minus 1 plus 6 into 16 raised to minus 2. So this is the method. Next what to convert a hexadecimal to decimal conversion. The method is also similar and here the weights are some powers of 16. So now this point, we can convert any base system into a decimal system. What we have to do is multiply the digit with its weight. And here the weights are powers of its base. For hexadecimal, base is 16. So weights are powers of 16. 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1, 16 raised to 2 or 16 raised to minus 1, minus 2 like that. Convert AB uh, to the base 16 to decimal. So here uh, consider this AB uh, as uh, each digit, two digits AB and uh, write the weights over here starting from the last digit 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1. Then we have to multiply this uh, weight and digit. So 16 raised to 1 into A plus 16 raised to 0 into B and this A is equal to 10. Here I have already written this A equal to 10, B equal to 11. So we can write like this 10 into 16 raised to 1 plus 11 into 16 raised to 0. The answer is 171. Decimal number, hexadecimal number AB is equal to 171. 1 in decimal. Another number is 2D5. Uh, we have to convert this 2D5. So write like this hexadecimal 2D5 and corresponding weight 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1, 16 raised to 2. Here D is equal to 13. So, substituting the values, we will get answer 725. Here also, uh, I have not mentioned about the fractional numbers. Fractional numbers can be converted to decimal by assigning them negative powers of 16 as a weight. Uh, 
for example consider this number a b right mm, okay a b here comes your a and b a b point d a b oh, this is d okay a b point d so here is a decimal point to the left of the decimal point we can write weights as 16 raised to 0 and uh, 16 raised to 1 16 raised to 1 to the left of decimal uh, to the right of decimal point we can write like 16 raised to minus 1 starting from 16 raised to minus 1 then the process is you see a into 16 raised to 1 plus b into 16 raised to 0 point d into 16 raised to minus 1 replace this a b d with the 10 11 and 30 we will get the answer so that's it so in this video we have discussed about how to convert a number system into any number system into base 10 number system that is to a decimal number system the method used is by summing up the products of each digit and its weight and this weights are only the changes is with the weights weight of a number system will be the powers of its base for example, to consider a binary number, the uh, power of uh, base of the binary number system is 2. So, the weight of the number system will be powers of 2. Likewise, this is the method. Okay, hope the concept is clear. Thank you so much.